So our friend, Jian, says that they only lucid dream about things relating to their desire. Right, their raw, unfiltered, materialistic, I guess even sexual desires, right, for things which are completely materialistic and not really valuable in the bigger picture of things, right? In terms of lucid dreaming and what you could do with it, the materialistic stuff like the sex and the flying is not really where I would spend my energy. That is sort of the lower level, lower vibration, I guess you could say, activities. But our friend Jian says they are worried and that they want to know how to stop having lucid dreams purely based on their desire, right? And this can be either subconscious desire or conscious intentional desire for something specific like sex or like fighting or flying okay and so you've got to understand that this stems from escapism it stem it stems from two things escapism and the ego but really they they can become you can sort of think of them as the same thing so the ego is this construct in the mind which is basically focused on doing things like adding to yourself like how can I earn more money? How can I be seen as better than my peers? How can I get something? How can I take something, whether that's sex or money or an object? Or how can I exert my power in the form of flying, okay? And it's a very old reptilian system which is built into our minds, which for most of us, it runs our lives. Our egos run our minds quite literally 90% of the time unless you're aware of this process. So when you say, how can I stop having lucid dreams based on my desire? It's nothing to do with the lucid dreams. It's basically to do with your ego. And so your ego is constantly saying that you need to get something, whether that's money or an object or a car or something like this. It's, it's constantly saying that you need to get something. And so then when you enter a lucid dream, of course, your first natural default setting the de it literally is called the default mode network the default setting is to go into that ego state to be thinking what can i get what can i take instead of just focusing on the ego less side of things which is what can i be you know how can i just enjoy this moment and find peace within instead of having to go into the dream and go out and aggressively pursue something and get something Although those, there is a time and place for that sort of attitude, in a lucid dream, it's more about just what you're experiencing. You know, in terms of why you would have a lucid dream, there are several reasons. You know, you've got the ego-based reasons like flying, sex, fantasies, you know, experiencing the impossible, which for most of us is what we do in a lucid dream. That is, I guess, the most exciting, on, on at least on the surface level, the most exciting things to do. But then you've also got the other side of things, which is focused on awareness and this I guess you could say the slightly less exciting things because compared to the other stuff it is slightly less exciting at least on in terms of the face value so you've got the slightly less exciting things like awareness meditation going inside and feeling what is inside your body and your mind from an internal point of view and you know dealing with emotions and thinking and interacting with your subconscious fears and desires and emotions and this, this sort of thing right now to me that is actually the most exciting part of lucid dreaming because that is tr it transcends the surface level game type dreaming you know you've got to think for most people lucid dreaming they think of it like a game they think of it like and there's nothing wrong with this by the way nothing wrong with this whatsoever at some point when you're ready, you will start transcending the ego desires and moving into more spiritual, holistic, you know, love based things, tasks or goals. However, at the start, when you first start lucid dreaming, that's just not what you want to do. You know, you want to just be flying around and having sex with things and doing everything that you maybe can't do in waking life. But your question makes it very clear that it is your subconscious desire, not your conscious higher purpose desire which i guess would be focused on awareness and dissolving the ego so it literally just does come down to dissolving the ego and for that there's really only a few ways of doing that firstly you've got to be aware of it you've got to be aware of the fact that you have an ego and that it is running your mind or your thoughts most of the time but secondly there is really only one way of dissolving that and that is just to focus on the present moment dissolve everything else any thoughts of the future or the past and just focus on what you're feeling now there's loads of meditation techniques you could use. I'm not going to give them 
to you in this video because there's so many. You know, you could download Headspace, you could just any meditation technique or method that you use is gonna be help, helpful for dissolving the ego. But you've got to understand the ego is a very complex thing. It wants to survive like any organism. The ego wants to stay in your brain and stay in the driver's seat controlling everything you're doing. And of course, because of that, it's gonna deliberately try and stay in your brain and cling on to anything that it can to remain in control and alive, essentially. It's gonna start trying to convince you that you want to do these other things, you know, these materialistic surface level things. As long as you just go back to the awareness, just try and think, a useful technique that I have for this is try and think, what will my next thought be? What will I next want to do? And if you just do that, you, you step out of the character of what, what am I gonna do based on my ego? And you step into this awareness, this sort of transcendental awareness, looking down on yourself from a third party perspective. And you start thinking, okay, what do I really want to do? That, this is what my ego wants. This is what my brain wants, the reptilian part of my limbic system. That's what that wants. What do I want to do? The real you, what do you really want to do in a lucid dream? Do you actually want to just go and have sex and then wake up immediately? Or do you want to try and go deeper? Do you want to try and experience something more meaningful? Whatever that means to you. So I know this is kind of a vague answer, but it's sort of also not something I can give a specific answer for either. So don't worry about your ego desires, your subjective, you know, materialistic desires in a lucid dream, because we all have them. But at a certain point, at a certain point, you will want to go beyond that and see what else there is. When the game becomes boring, you start thinking about how you can escape the game and get onto something more meaningful. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.